I know it's Christmas and all you want to do is talk about shiny tech gadgets or things that you want to get over the holiday season that you've had your eye on all year round. But I want to bravely entice you back down to earth and talk about the world of insurance or more specifically insure tech. And for those of you who don't know, insure tech is just short for insurance tech, really, where technologies and platforms that are helping to optimize any of the principles for success or requirements of, of insurance. By extension, it's just any company that provides insurance through the engagement of technology, but most importantly, in a user centric way. So with that in mind, today I want to talk to the guys at Ethos, which is a new kind of life insurance built for people who don't have time for fine print, extra doctor's appointments or hidden fees. Instead, Ethos is using the power of technology and predictive analytics to modernise the life insurance process and align products with what families want and need during those critical moments in their lives. The company has seen robust growth in 2018, and one of the reasons they appeared on my radar was because with their revenue, customers and applications grew by more than 400% in the last four months, and has also raised a Series B financing round of $35 million. But not only that, their startup journey behind the company is quite inspirational too. Sounds like we've got a lot to talk about, so buckle up and hold on tight as I beam your ears all the way to San Francisco so we can speak with Peter Collis from Ethos Life Insurance. So a massive warm welcome to the show. Can you tell the listeners a little about who you are and what you do? Absolutely. I'm the CEO of Ethos Life Insurance. My name is Peter Collis. Um, we are a life insurance company built for people who don't have time for fine print, extra doctor's appointments, or hidden fees. Now, there is a lot of hype around insurance tech or insure tech at the moment, but before we get to that, can you just tell me a little bit more about what motivated you to, to start a life insurance company? So my co-founder, Linky, and I were roommates at Stanford um, pursuing our MBAs. Uh, he was a, a software developer. I came from an advertising role. Um, and while we were there, my co-founder, Linky, had purchased or rather been sold a permanent life insurance policy. It's like an expensive investment feature type policy when he was younger, when he was 20 years old, when he really had no need for it. Um, and while we were at school, he, it got so expensive that he was forced to lapse it and surrender it. And so this kind of concept of someone being sold something they didn't really need sparked our interest in the business. And the more we dug, the more we learned to love it because it's a product that's intrinsically very good for people. If you look at uh, the U.S., about 5% of kids will unfortunately lose a parent before they're 15 years old. And so the product itself has a, has a, a great need. 70% of families, if they lost the breadwinning parent, would be bankrupt within a few months. But as important as life insurance is, we realized that it was a poorly executed product in that you had these very large incumbents who were um, very comfortable with what they're doing, prioritizing profits over people. So you started Ethos with your college roommate. I mean, what was that experience like? <laughs> it was like a classic Silicon Valley story. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, you know, it, it was funny. We... We probably went to less class than we should have. We were holed up in the library for two years, uh, you know, working all, all day and every day. It became our main focus. The coolest part about it is, you know, we were going through business school while we were starting this business, and so we had something to practically apply what we were learning in our classes towards. And I think that really helped us kind of learn the lessons in a deeper, more meaningful way than uh, otherwise possible. Um, but it, it was a great experience. Uh, Silicon Valley and especially Stanford is is a, a wonderful place to foster, um, you know, a, a new business with the relationships that you can make, all the people who are interested in helping you, um, and just the general enthusiasm and excitement. So with Ethos, I believe 99% of applicants do not have to undergo any medical exam or blood test and are approved in under 10 minutes. So how are you able to provide life insurance to consumers completely online? Correct. Ethos um, is a drastically different experience than the traditional industry experience. Uh, typically, it takes about 15 weeks to get life insurance. 
you have to find a uh, commissioned sales agent who works for one of the big established companies. Maybe it's New York Life or Northwestern Mutual or, or whatever. Um, and that agent, they'll try to sell you the largest, most expensive policy they possibly can. And, you know, it's, it's just how the incentives are aligned. Um, it, it's not their fault. But their incentives are aligned uh, in a complete opposite manner from their customers. And, you know, if you want to get the policy, you have endless paper forms and uh, you have to get a medical exam, a blood test, a urine test, um, you know, and then you get this price that's, you know, usually more expensive than you were originally quoted at. So it's not a consumer-friendly experience. Ethos is very different. You go to our website, you fill out an application, it takes the average person less than 10 minutes, and at the end of it, you're either approved or um, you're approved within a couple days. But as you mentioned, 99% of customers have no medical exam or blood test or urine test. And the way that we're able to do that is through algorithmic underwriting. And it has two main components to it. One is being able to validate if someone is being, um, you know, transparent with us and forthcoming about, um, you know, whether it's their behavioral history or their medical history. Um, and then the second is predictive modeling around for somebody who, you know, looks like you and is in your, in your specific life scenario, what are their, uh, what is their risk of passing away during a certain term length?